Hey guys, welcome to math. We are doing this page here. It says no remainder on top. We'll just do the first half today. It's actually a little bit less than half as far as how many problems there are, but we'll just do the top page, top side of the page. It says no remainder, so no remainders. So I'll just do one problem for you. I'll do a hard one. I'll do 304 divided by eight. So, as we know, it can look like that, or it can look like this. The thought is, how many groups of eight fit into 304? Eight times what equals 304? Anybody have a guess? Well, let's see, 330. Mm, I'm gonna guess, how many times is eight go into 30 times what equals about 30? Well, eight times, let's see, eight times three is 24. Which means eight times 30 equals 240. So it'll be at least 30. Let's see, eight times four equals 32, which means eight times 40 equals 320, because the zero goes over there, and it's 304. So it's gonna be somewhere between 30 and 40. Let's find out. Okay, so you could think of this in a lot of ways, um, and it could be a lot of different kinds of problems, but I find the easiest way to think about them when I divide them is money because it makes it really simple because we have groups of hundreds, groups of tens, and groups of ones. And they're in bunches. You have to think about dividing them into eight piles and how many of those bunches are going to go in each pile. So that's why I like to think of it in terms of like you have eight people and you have to divide 304. So how many hundreds does each person get? How many groups of eight fit into three? Zero, so nobody gets 100. You can't divide three by eight. So if this number's too big, if this number's bigger, larger than that number, it's a zero. So zero. So now I multiply to see how many we gave out. Well, zero times eight is zero. We know we gave out zero of them. Subtract to see how many have left. Three minus zero is three. So we still have all three. Hundreds, that is. Now bring down. So now we're gonna bring down and we're gonna think of it in terms of tens. So it's kind of like you took those three hundreds to the bank and you got 30 tens and we already had zero. So we just have those 30. Now we can do it. Eight times what equals almost 30 or how many groups of eight fit into 30? Well, if you're not sure, you check out your multiplication table. There's eight and I find the number closest to 30 without going over. Oh, 32 is too many. You can't, you can't, I don't have 32, I only have 30. So I have to go 30 or less, which means 24 is the closest. And then eight times what equals 24? Well, I go up here, oh yeah, eight times three. There's one eight is eight, two eights is 16, three eights is 24. It's hard to see it, but that's what it says, 24. So three. Eight times three equals 24, which is as close to 30 as we can get. And now multiply to see how many we gave out. Well, we just talked about eight times three is 24. Subtract to see how many you have left. 30 minus 24 is six, so we still have six left. So that means of the eight people, they each got three tens. I was like, oh, yeah, finally we're getting something. We're getting some money. Each person got three tens. And then the person who's giving them all out who had $304, well, they just gave out 24, but they still have six left. So they take those to the bank, take the six tens, turn them into ones, and now we bring them down. It's time to do the ones, divide those up. Now we can divide up the ones. So now we have 64 ones because we had those six tens left over. So 64 ones, eight times what equals 64 or how many times is eight going to 64? Let's find out. Eight, 16, two, two. oh, it's right there, I just found it. It fits in perfectly. Eight times eight is 64. 
And we knew it was gonna fit perfectly because this whole page says no remainder, so they're all gonna fit perfectly for this, this top of the page. Okay, so eight times eight. Multiply to see how many gave out. Well, we just gave out all of them. Subtract, none left. So that means eight times 38 is 304. And 304 divided by eight is 38. 304 divided by 38 is eight. So that's the first answer. Please do that top half for today.